Hello friends, welcome to my channel, myself Parag Jambulkar. In this video, we will see use of explicit qualifier or explicit keyword in C++ programming language. For this, here I have written a very simple example. So here we have C++ program. Here we have class sample. In this class, we have written one constructor sample. We are creating object of this class sample. Here we are creating it. Then by using equal to sign, we are allocating this value 3.14. So that value will get passed to the constructor. As we are creating con uh, object of this class, constructor will get automatically called and this value will get passed to the constructor. Now see, if we remove this explicit keyword, then we will see what will happen. So we will run this program. First we will compile it. So got compiled, no error. And now we are running it. So we got this value is equal to 3. Value is equal to 3. So here you can see what value we have passed 3.14. So that is the double value, right? That is a double value or floating point value. That value get passed to here. And here a uh, formal parameter is integer x, right? So this 3.14 get implicitly typecasted to 3. So there is implicit typecasting. And then we are getting value of x as 3. But here we can see there is implicit typecasting or automatic this value get typecasted. But we don't want. If we don't want implicit typecasting, then we can avoid it by using explicit qualifier or explicit keyword. Suppose here we don't want this implicit typecasting, then we can mention that explicit. So this keyword or this qualifier, here we are mentioning it. So it will inform compiler that this typecasting should not be done. This typecasting of this value should not be done. So, so we will run this program. So here you can see we got error. So here we are trying to do implicit typecasting or there is type mismatch. And because of that, we got the error. And that is the use of explicit qualifier or keyword in C++ programming language. So friends, I hope you like this video. If it is, then click on like, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video. So stay connected. Thank you.